how are y'all doing today? Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. I got a treat. And I know y'all say, she say that every week. Yes, I say that every week, but I got a treat y'all because we're talking about 50 years of hip hop in Kansas City. Now, I don't know how old you are, but I know how old I am. And I know what hip hop was for me growing up right here in Kansas City. I've got Sean Edwards in the Gangster Goodies Kitchen. He is back in the Gangster Goodies Kitchen. And we have Don Juan. Y'all know him. You can't be a part of Kansas City hip hop and not know who he is, y'all. So y'all check this episode out. Yo, 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 what up, what up? It's your boy, Don Juan, and guess what? I'm excited to be in the building with the Gangsta Goodies podcast is going down. We're going to be eating some great food, and guess what? We're going to talk about 50 years of hip-hop. I got Sean Edwards in the building. We got Sheila Johnson in the building, and you know how we do it. So, yo, we're going to be making a dope salad dressing. We're going to be making some great food off the grill fresh, and we're going to be talking about the 50 years of hip-hop in Kansas City is going down. Don Juan in the building, Gangsta Goodies podcast. Yo. Hey, what's up, y'all? That's right, this is your boy, Sean Edwards, and I'm back in the kitchen. That's right, the Gangsta Goodies Kitchen with my girl, Sheila, and we're talking all things hip-hop. That's right, 50 years of hip-hop. But what did it really mean to Kansas City? That's what we're talking about as we cook up something yummy for y'all. We go in there, Tech 9 Soway, Rich the Factor, Don Juan, Captain Bonzel, Mr. President, all those parties back at Lincoln High School, I was there. That's right, we're talking about it right here in the Gangsta Goodies Kitchen. You are cooking in the Gangster Goodies Kitchen with your favorite cooking show host, Sheila. And today I have not one but two amazing guests. We're celebrating 50 years of hip hop in Kansas City with none other than... That's Don Juan. What up, what up, what up? Yo, yo, we got none other, the hottest movie film, director, hip-hop, journalist, my, my, my mother, big brother, none other than the legendary himself. Y'all see him on Fox 4 with all the superstars, the yes. A-listers. He been putting me everywhere. So if y'all don't know, when y'all see me on the big media around here, this is God, Sean Edwards. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, Sean Edwards. Yeah. 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 Minute. But you feels know, you feels been, good. Feels right. Yes, back yeah. at home. This is my first time. It is. Well, no. no. Well, you've <laughs> invited me, but I told her I wanted to wait on something special. Oh, so this is the first time on the show. 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 Yeah, on the yeah. show. Show, show. Right. But you brought some. You brought somebody to the show several years back. And I, I, and I said, did. and I and I said, don't let it be known. Let me in the background. <laughs> Enjoy it, right? Yeah. Wasn't in the yes. Yes. Be in the yes. background. So you've been here. Always you, You've been here and absolutely. And you too. And then look, we have a long history of church. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And yes. Our me family. And your Connection. father and your family and Absolutely. everyone. So I've always been uh, gracious to be in your presence. Oh, so, and the, you yeah. guys supporting me means the world to me. Yeah, always. It really does. It really does. So I want you guys to take a quick look at the ingredients for today's mm-hmm. recipe. Oh, We're good. making something very simple, oh, very good. easy. It's light on the tummy, okay? Light on the figure, ladies. <laughs> okay? Because that's important, you know? And men. Uh, and men yes. You know? It, it is yeah. very important. And so we've got a piece of uh, sockeye salmon. Uh, we've got some... Uh, juice, some fresh uh, watermelon juice I juice myself, Mm. some olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, spicy mustard, uh, some, what is that? Oh, garlic and some shallots. Mm. And we're going to put it all in a mason jar, shake it up, and that is our dressing. Mm. And so when you make the dressing yourself, you know what's in it. No preservatives. There's no ingredient control. Exactly. No preservatives. Exactly. We haven't added any sodium here. And so we'll taste it, and if we think it needs a little bit, we can add a little bit, but we control that. Okay. Not Mm -hmm. the eating. Exactly. 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 So here we go. Let's get this fired up. I am too. And smells so good already. And all I did was put a little bit of uh, grapeseed oil in this cast iron skillet. You know, heat it up. Not real. Not really standing oil. Just enough to coat it, Uh, because you know it's it's salmon. We don't want to. Oh, we don't. Oh, we don't want to overcook it for sure. So, you guys, today. How how how, how, how possible? Because sometimes I overcook something. Like, what 
what's the temperature and how fast should it be? Like medium temperature? What's what's the best way to prepare a, a gray salmon like you like to prepare? So it really kind of depends on you. How you like a salmon is like a steak. Yeah. You want a medium. Mm -hmm. You want a medium well, you want um, medium rare, I mean, okay? Yes, and so I like mine more between medium and medium well, okay? And just a little bit over medium, not too much, okay? And so uh, when I do that, I cook it about three to five minutes on each side. Depends on how thick of a cut of fish that is. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely. So we're gonna take. We took a little bit of Mike P's. Uh, only me, y'all. Shout out to Mike P. Shout out to Mike P. Yes, Kansas City's barbecue sauces and rubs. And so we are gonna put the skin down first. Why are we putting the skin down first? Because all the natural oils are gonna help oil the skillet. Nice. Which is why you don't need all that oil in there because it's gonna naturally oil itself up. Okay. And so as that's cooking, so which one of you gentlemen want to make the salad dressing? Well, I think you can I can do it. Just okay. drop everything into the mason. Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah. Is we're there an gonna... order, a specific we're... order? I just toss <laughs> it in. It's Cause, not... Cause that I would, matters sometimes. I would put the liquids in first. Uh-huh, so that's olive oil. That one third cup of olive oil. Okay. And then there we have the balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. And so not all of that. So why don't you pour some of that into there? So it's one third as well. Oh, okay, uh-huh. Kind of equal parts on the on the liquid. Sounds good. A little more. Doing the guesstimation. Yeah. There we go. There we go, that's there perfect, go. yes. That's beautiful too. Yes, yes. You say you can set up yourself, huh? Yep. All right, so I got Absolutely. this all in here now. Go ahead. And so then we're gonna put shallots. That's shallot. like a half of a shallot. So a shallot is, oh, there's a little yeah, spoon right it. there, yes. What's this shallot, it's from the onion or garlic? Onion? So it's a cross between. Mm -hmm. It's not as strong, it's really a young onion. Uh, it's not as money. strong. Yes. Yes, we got fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we got a little brown spicy mustard. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mustard. All right. And then we have some fresh basil straight out of the gangster garden, y'all. Oh, that's from, that's from, here. <laughs> from, the garden. from right out there, yes. Urban garden, baby. You got to learn how to garden. Yes. We're going to be needing the garden soon. Absolutely. Yes. Put your fresh herbs in there. You know there's more gardens in the area. Justification is real. Yeah. Yeah. A lot more gardens than dog walking. I love it. Oh, uh, yes. That's <laughs> another show. Yeah, so we got that. And so if you put the lid on, if you put the, uh, make sure the first part is down good. You know, that's good. good. It's tight. Yeah, it's tight. I can't spill it on my eye on KC. No, absolutely not. All right, we'll and then, then you're going to shake it up. Yeah, shake it, get it shaking up. Shake yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right, then after that, we're going. We're working on this salmon. It is doing its thing. Let me crack it back open. Yeah, because I want you to taste it. See what you think. Let me get the mustard off. Let me get the soup. Let me get the soup taste going. That's good. Let see. You'll be able to tell us if we need a little more. Just a dab of that. A little dab of that, okay. Just, just pour you a little bit in there. Just a little bit. It's almost there, though. Okay. I was going to be a little more summery. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, y'all see, Chanel, we're shaking up that dressing, okay? Yeah. So, and you see what the salmon looks like as it's cooking. And when we come back, we're going to put this salad together and we're going to try it. And we're going to talk about 50 years of Kansas City mm hip -hmm. 50 years of hip hop. It's been a long journey, y'all. Yes. And we still here. Yes. 
Okay, y'all, so we have this fresh salad. We've got arugula and mixed greens, field greens. We've got some watermelon, this watermelon uh, from uh, Ophelia's down on uh, 2400 Vine. $15 watermelon? $15 watermelon. Yeah. Yeah. It's real. It's it, yes. Yeah. Um, and we also took and we made, y'all saw Sean make the dressing that Fire. is infused with watermelon. And so we made a piece of salmon to go on top of it for our protein. Mm -hmm. So I want you gentlemen to taste and then uh eat. Yeah, taste and eat. Yes. So here we go. It looks so delicious, y'all. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I like your plates. Get you some oh I love these little bamboo plates. Cheese on there. You can put some olives in there. Gangsta goodies. And then you got your Gangsta. Like, so what do we do? What do we do? We so this you put your uh-huh. Yep. However you like your dressing. Yep. Oh, okay. You like a lot, you like a little. Yeah. Now this is how I eat too. This is why she prep. She eats like this, but she asks me. Yes. Yeah, so you guys go ahead and taste them. Give me a little bit. I didn't want to start with that. <laughs> I appreciate that. I didn't even eat all day. I ate a little bit, but I've been waiting to eat. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, it's very fresh. Oh my God. This thing. This is perfect. Y'all see my face, girl? Oh my goodness, yes. It's, it's been hot, Oh my God. Do you see my face? Oh my God. Mm. Mm. The salmon is good. I could have. Mm. Maybe cooked it for three minutes less. Mm. What I like about this meal, it's so fresh and healthy. No, no preservatives, no additives. Yes. Oh my God. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Get a little extra butt, a little fizz, a little right, citrus girl. on your on your uh now really good. You like the dressing you made? The dressing's really good. Right. So Sean, do you wanna give us like kind of an idea of what have you been doing to celebrate and bring uh you know light to because it's a big deal. Fifty years of hip hop. Well no, I mean I've always been a big fan of hip hop. I've always loved the music, I've always loved every aspect of the culture, whether it was the rapping, the DJing, the graffiti, the dancing, the, the beatboxing, and so you know. I started my career as a journalist, you know, covering hip hop. So I've written numerous stories locally on the hip hop scene, numerous stories on the local hip hop scene. But you know, when the anniversary was approaching I want to really like, kind of like shine some light on how hip hop's impacted Kansas City because this is where I grew up. So I always knew that I was going to do this sort of like, you know, trilogy, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Since I work in movies, I think like movies. So okay. I yeah. did like three major stories on, on hip hop. So I did the, you know, the impact that hip hop had on Hollywood. I did that story for Ebert.com. Mm -hmm. Then I did an overall history of hip hop in Kansas City for the pitch. And then I got a third piece coming out in a couple of days on the connection of hip hop and the radio here in Kansas City. So mm. I knew I wanted to do that from the beginning because I had been doing it, you know, for three decades now. So I was able to, you know, source through notes that I have from back in the day when I worked at the pitch wow. and the globe and you know some sort of places. Wow. You know, just use my platform to you know spread the word. And so coming up next, we're doing a hip hop film festival at the Springland Armor. I okay. focus on three very impactful and pivotal hip hop movies that sort of like changed the direction mm -hmm. of how hip hop was represented in Hollywood. So I'm, I'm gonna do that. And then we yeah. got a we got a 50th anniversary celebration concert that's gonna take place at the gym that's gonna feature all local artists. So this is kinda like you know, show some love to the, the brunch to the guys that have been doing it for fifty for fifty years and then we're gonna have a brunch where uh, Jay McGee is gonna, gonna do a hip hop brunch down in society where Jay McGee is gonna do a presentation on the business of hip hop, which is mm -hmm. really important. Talk about the money and the financials, and then I'm gonna do a thing on um, you know hip hop's impact on, on Hollywood and just talk about the influences. And so mm -hmm. we just got a lot planned for the city. We're trying to you know show love. Fifty years only comes around once. Only comes so around we once. To make it a, we want to really make it a big deal. Exactly. And then let me not forget. Then after the big party at the concert, 
in that official after party. Mm. Is that so right? Okay. We got food, we got drink specials. And listen, this DJ that is gonna DJ this party. Okay. So this is the after the, the, the August the 12th event. Yeah, after the okay. Concert. After the concert. Yeah. So what can people expect to see at the concert as far as local talent? Guess what I'm performing. That's what? what? You getting on the stage? Yes. Don, how long has it been? Okay, okay, okay. Three okay. months ago. Okay. So what's happening, y'all been, I've been performing since I was a kid. Yes. Which you know. Yes, yes. Church, music. So when I became doing hip hop, I was rapping, I was making beats, DJing, dancing, and then nobody knew the business. You know my grandma Casey, the teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. She's like, she's big on education. She's like, why don't you go get the book and learn how the business go? You know? Yes. Yes. So then I learned all these components. So I end up being the one to be like, okay, this is how publishing work. We got to sign up for ASCAP. We got to press up the music, okay? This is how we got to do our CDs. Yes. But I was really just trying to be the rapper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Then it's this girl named Angela Pearson. Her father, Walter Pearson, worked at the radio station. Okay, 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 okay. So what Angela did for me and her father, she heard about this kid, 12 years old, doing music and hip hop. Mm. She taught her father, she used to have these big swimming parties at her aunt, all the kids. I'm talking about all these kids. She went to Race South. She was like this popular chick. I DJed her party. I was 13. Wow. And that's how I started getting popular with all the kids. Then I DJed her party again, and we could play cussing. Okay. At uh, 13. Uh-oh. Easy eating them, because her daddy was bringing Easy eating them. Okay. So that's some okay. of the hip hop yes. stuff that that influenced me yes. and some of the people that gave me the opportunity. Absolutely. So I'm performing, and after I hit the stage, I'm going to do this consistently. Drop a lot of music, get into the acting, get back to executive putting artists out. Yeah. So I always tell people, they always think I do things by myself as a team. Even getting on this podcast oh, yeah. is going to yes. bring me opportunity because now you're on a bigger platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sure. Sure. 50 years of hip hop, she's going to be in the building and we're going to continue to show because we really yes. got a lot to talk about. Yes. I do want to use this platform yes. to kind of talk about Kansas City hip hop. Absolutely. Man. That's what we're, Kansas City hip hop the food is, is uh, you know, it's right here with us, you know, and absolutely. No, I get it. That's absolutely. what a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't realize, though, like in the, in, the, in the early days of hip hop, especially, you know, I can't speak for the city, but I know like in Kansas City, like, you know, the talent shows is where a lot of people got exposed. Yes. You always had a couple of people in your class that yes. were just a step ahead with the music. Yes. And then they would introduce the rest of the school yes. through music through performances through talent shows. And yes. That's how it kind of like spread because everybody wasn't allowed to go to the parties because a lot of people's parents didn't let them step out. Like, exactly. Yes. So the talent shows is where you got introduced to a lot of talent yeah. shows and skating rinks. Oh, South my Field goodness. House, yes. Yeah. Yes. Southeast Field House. Yeah. And we all look forward to those big. Drill team competitions. Yes, and right. talent shows and all of that. And all of us learned how to play an instrument in school. Well, not all, I did. You didn't learn how to? No, I, just, I did not. So what happened when you came to instru me, instrumental music? You talked your way out of it? I played the drum. I was not good at it, but I didn't, I didn't learn it. I was, I was on the other creative side. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But, you know, we all learned an instrument. We, even though... Well, a lot of people did. No, no. Yeah, because, yeah, like, the marching bands would play, like, the popular songs. Yes. Of the day. So that was, yes. That was another, that was another introduction. Oh, like, you know, and then you go to either the football or basketball game, there was always, like, one person would always have the boom box. Yes. To play, to play the music, they had the access to the cassettes. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You know, the home mix. Yes. Ducking and dodging. And, you know, and a few rap songs they did play on the radio, you tried duck and dodge, either the DJ talking. <laughs> yes. <the> commercial. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, yes. So a lot of times you clip the song yeah. either on the front end or the back end. Right, uh -huh. But you had a mix, though. It was, you, yes. it was good enough. Like, nobody was going to judge you on the quality of the mix, and you just wanted to hear the... You just wanted to hear right. the music, so right. that's, that's how it went down in, in, in the early days. Cause it, it wasn't it wasn't on the radio, it wasn't on it wasn't on television yet, and so you know you, you had to like get the music organically. Yeah. I decided to, to to write the stories because like a lot of people don't know from the beginning, like from August 11th, 
1973 until now, a lot of things have taken place and a lot of things get ignored, like particularly yes. like the impact on the hip hop had on movies is not discussed a lot. Absolutely. Um, the economic impact. I mean, you literally have people walking around Kansas City who have never had a day job who, you know, hip hop may put kids through college. Yes. Pay for mortgages. Yes. You know, pay for new cars. Yes. And it also, yes. hip hop also put a lot of money in other people's pockets. Ooh, you, you, yes. You count how much money Harold Penner's on the land that made off of hip hop. Mm. And it's like yeah. millions. Like, mm -hmm. you know, and in all the different you know, clubs that, you know, yeah. you know, it's a lot of, a lot of places made money off of it. People don't really talk about that, that economic engine, which rarely gets discussed. So, Absolutely. You know, that's the thing. That's Absolutely, yeah. So, August 12th, how can people get tickets to the concert at the Gym Theater? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eventbrite, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. Eventbrite. Okay. Please go to Eventbrite. We'll put all that information yeah, up yeah, there so, so that you there's guys can have it. There's an event. There's an Eventbrite. There's an event page. Okay. Go, um, KC it's, store. It's, it's, yeah. Okay. You okay. Know, get them because it's at the gym. You know, gym theater we have five hundred seats. So yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Might so get your tickets real quick. Get it quick, y'all. Well, listen. Okay. Listen, this, this is what I, I know people do. People will go off of Facebook and think certain people coming because they like your post and say I'm coming. So August 12th. Yes. Gangsta goodies. Yes. Get your tickets. Yes. Get your tickets. We'll be back. Food was good. Salmon was good. Yes. You Thank guys. Thank you, Sean. Promote. You rolling. You rolling. Absolutely. It's always a pleasure. Yeah. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait to watch. Can't wait to watch more episodes. So this is. Yes. This is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you all so much rap. for doing watching. The old, doing the old school rap. <laughs> Bring it home. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. We hope to see each of y'all there on Saturday, uh, August the 12th. Shout out to Sean Edwards. All day. Hang out with us all day. Got brunch, yes. concert, after party. Like you 50 years of hip hop, y'all. All day. All day. All day. Yes. All day long, man. It's all good. I'm having on this same hoodie, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Peace out, y'all.